this journey. Ancestors walk with me. Ancestors walk with me. It's almost like a dream, dreamscape. For me, I feel like it was a big, you know, eye opener. It was a powerful message. I'm still kind of speechless right now. The Sankofa experience is literally a, a living museum. And it creates an opportunity for folks to kind of look at African history from the continent all the way through to modern day Oakland mm -hmm. and see what's happening here. So the living museum literally means it's alive, you know, from actors. We have people embodying the roles of different ancestors along our timeline. We, we actually were intentional with hiring trained theater uh, performing artists because we wanted them to really embody the emotion of what someone might have been going through at that time. We start with the original woman. We know that life started on the continent and then we have elements of different cultures that we get to represent. And so being able to see like there's a connection between each of these points of history that bring us to where we are to this modern day. One of the things that we also highlighted in this work was a lot of the resistance and the resilience that we have as a people. So being able to show that even though there were some challenges that we went through, that there's a heart and a soul and a power that we have as a people to be able to transform those conditions, to be able to survive through those conditions and to be able to create something new. And so what do we experience with? We experience with the way that we sense the world. So the sights, the sounds, the smells, the textures, the emotions, and we have lights, we have smoke machines. Like there's all kinds of ways that we create mm -hmm. the energy and the vibration of that time period. And so there's mm -hmm. an amazing collective of artists that came together to create these installations. The museum draws you in. You're actually in that time frame. It's an artwork, but it's an artwork that involves your participation. And uh, as human beings, we, we crave that social interaction. So through this museum, we wanted to create that feeling and that sense of belonging mm -hmm. to where it's not a separation between our history and our now or even our future. Yeah. But it's all a conglomerate and it's all energetically pushing us towards our greatness and towards our transformation. I went three times and you don't see things like that every day. Once you see it, it's just, like, dang, like, that's really what people went through. And then it, like, hits you, and you're like, that's reality. This will definitely bring light into the world to actually get the understanding of what we have to go through as blacks. It was just uplifting. It made me feel proud to be a black African young man. It was more detailed and vivid than I even imagined. It definitely made me want to just educate my children more, educate myself more, and just definitely never forget and also celebrate where we came from. The experience was able to tap back to really who they are and who they, you know, where they have come from mm -hmm. and what their essence is. For them to really connect to the history that exists within each one of us. We take about an hour to kind of um, unpack everything they might have seen, ask questions, and just really give people a full opportunity to engage and kind of what they just experienced. The other intentions for the Experience and Culture Project was also to bring about racial healing. We recognized that a lot of the folks that were able to participate were not just folks of African descent, but it allowed for them to be able to have mm -hmm. a deeper understanding about the histories and the struggles of our people, and really to be able to see us, to see mm -hmm. our humanity, to see mm -hmm. the greatness within us, that there's a little bit more understanding. And, and see and feel, though. Yeah. And see I think and that feel. was the piece around yeah. making that's it. That's why it's living. I mean, exactly. that's, that's what makes exactly. it living, right? Exactly. So we wanted to create a, a, a fresh way to teach a fresh way to experience and share our stories as African people, and just a new and ingenious way to get the young people involved, man, because if they could see themselves into something, they're more likely to connect with it. On this journey, ancestors walk with me, talk with me, put me where I ought to be. On this journey, El Haj, Malik, Shabazz, Sankofa, go and fetch what I left in the past.